All right, today we're going to be discussing the Warren Webster 0026 uh, float and thermostatic trap. As you can see, it sort of looks like the 026 inch and a quarter float and thermostatic trap of uh, Warren Webster, uh, but it's one inch. Uh, fairly rare, actually. Um, the more common trap was the 026 or the 0026. This was found mainly in um, um, uh, commercial applications. Um, and uh, that's where this came from. This actually came from the uh, lovely Lane Methodist Church down on St. Paul Street in Baltimore. Um, and there were uh, several varieties there. But as you can see, 0026. And they uh, come in two basic types. The, uh, this is the old style, relatively speaking. And um, uh, this is the uh, new style. Uh, the new style enabled one to uh, pop the cap off and gain access to the thermostatic element and, uh, and replace it without removing the, um, the uh, cover. Uh, this is, of course, you had two choices of your inlet. Um, on either side here, uh, and your outlet could either be uh, here or here, and this was the uh, clean-out plug. As always, uh, when confronting these old-style traps with the uh, blind bolts, it's uh, really a crapshoot about whether or not you'll be able to uh, get these bolts off. Um, obviously, we were able to get all of these off, or we'd be having a different discussion. Um, these impacted out fairly easily uh, using a, um, a 9 16 uh, uh, impact bit. The only trouble with the impact bit in some instances, for example, uh, this one here, I couldn't get the cover off because the uh, impact bit uh, didn't clear the space. So I'm going to have to use a smaller, uh, thinner socket. Uh, and I run the risk of breaking the socket to uh, fit in this uh, spot here. So I'm not able to show you that uh, today. So the cap comes off, exposing the uh, joys underneath. You have your gasket. This is the uh, exit hole for the air, which is then uh, bled out. Uh, the thermostatic element, which handles the air, is um, caught in this uh, cage unit which is held with uh, springs. This is our uh, classic uh, Warren Webster um, thermostatic element, uh, double bellows, um, and uh, the, it usually has a date code under here and this date code is from the 1940. Uh, we believe that in uh, the um, lovely lane um, the last uh, steam uh, upgrade was uh, taking place in the 30s and the other date codes on the other um, elements we've removed are from the 30s so this one apparently uh, was rebuilt um, sometime later. There's your seat. The seat requires a uh, 7 8 uh, socket to uh, remove and you uh, the seat is very thin so you need to sometimes I found that if you take a uh, a socket and, and grind the uh, bevel off it'll grip this much more, much more surely and that will come out. Then my recommendation would be to um, run a tap in there. This is a uh, 5 8 by 18 um, plug or bottoming tap and run it through there to uh, clean up the threads and then uh, you're going to need to install a uh, new thermostatic element. And the one that uh, fits this size is the um, 4006 Barnes & Jones. That's one example. And here it is. Unusual in that uh, they've taken a, uh, looks like an eighth inch threaded hole and they've threaded into this um, this uh, extension bushing 
to go into there. I'd use a little Teflon tape or pipe dope to uh, set that in place. And uh, most of the Barnes and Jones products uh, have a a spring which holds the uh, gasket to the uh, bottom of the seat but since this is held upside down and uh, there's nothing to push against they had to use the uh, threaded connections so a gasket and then you're uh, confronted with uh, one more bolt to remove uh, I've uh, broken off uh, one or two of these um, in, in use so uh, might want to maybe hit that with a little penetrating oil, maybe a little heat, and then I'd get an 8.38 socket and uh, spin that off. But this one came out fairly easily. Once uh, there's your cross, it's a cast iron cross piece which um, hooks there and there, and it pushes down on the um, the gasket holding the uh, float mechanism, as you can see there, waiting for waiting for it to come out. This comes out in a sequence like that. The ball has to go in first and that goes in the bottom. And there is, you can see the bottom there is where it uh, exits out. And there's a, there you can see the alignment pin and the considerable amount of um, uh, rusty mud that has accumulated over the uh, uh, eight or nine decades that this has been in operation. Uh, pretty crusty. There's the crush washer. There's the uh, poppet assembly. It's actually, compared to others I've seen that, actually looks uh, it's like in pretty good shape. And you might be able to just clean this up and put this uh, put this back into service, um, and it might work out for you. I think this one leaked a little because normally. This would have a, a bit more water in it um, based on the uh, level on the on the float ball there. I've been uh, fairly lucky. I was able to find um, some uh, OEM parts for this. So if uh, it's required that you absolutely have to rebuild the uh, rebuild the trap. Uh, this is new old stock. <laughs> this is what the uh, crush washer looks like. It's a um, fiber on the inside and uh, surrounded by a metallic uh, copper coat put on there and. I want to hold it on there because it might fall off as you try to put it in. Also, you might be able to reuse the the, um, the old ball if it works. If it hasn't been uh, smashed by water hammer, it comes apart. You might have to uh, luck into a. Uh, this is what one looks like new or new old. Threads on there like so. the uh, uh, gasket you can try to use uh, silicon carney on there to uh, seal around um, uh, you can try if the if the gasket comes off you could try reusing this um, although it's probably better to uh, sometimes these OEM kits are uh, a little shy. You can find some OE, uh, OEM kits with uh, gaskets and, uh, and crush washers. Um, this would be hard to duplicate if the, if that broke off. Uh, you might have to drill that out, um, but not impossible, of course. Uh, so that is uh, that's this this trap. Um, I don't think it's going to be a good candidate for um, 
for rebuilding unless this was uh, surrounded by asbestos or they uh, put it in and built the building around it like they've done in some situations I've dealt with and uh, you got to do what you got to do but uh, this presents some challenges but I believe they can be overcome <laughs>